Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Menu True Nerd, and welcome back to Undertale, a game I've started to look a little bit more at, at least, because, well, one comment in particular swayed me on this, which is someone told me that I had to remember how the beginner's guide, how the beginning of it set one thing up, and then the ending of it completely changed the meaning of everything, so you had to examine it as a whole. And I agree, and I understand. So that's what we're doing. Welcome back to Undertale. I'm going to see if I can figure out what's going on here exactly. Okay, so that way's the two skeletons, so I feel like that's like the way I actually need to go. So that means what's up here as a result? Oh, hello. A fishing rod. Sure, why not? All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me! Here's my number. You decide not to call. Okay, maybe one of the skeletons. Who knows? Let's go and have a chat with the skeletons. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Much confusion and looking. Sans, oh my god, is that a human? Um, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god. Sans, I finally did it undying, Will. I'm gonna, I'll be so... Popular, popular, popular. Ahem. <clears throat> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then. I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue. Only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Okay, so the skeletons do indeed want to capture me. That's fine. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observed the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Oh, So Papyrus is adding his own commentary onto this. <laughs> All right, uh, Snowdrake. That's the comedian I have to laugh at, isn't it? Yes. So Snowdrake is now yellow. I don't worry, I, I got this in the comments. I know I didn't speak to the frogger who told me this. If the monster is yellow, that means I can spare it. And that sparing is good, because that gets you gold, whereas fleeing doesn't, even though most things you do seem to be able to flee from. Okay, I get it. And gold is useful for the healing items, because you can't always, you will sometimes take knocks on the way to sparing something. Absolutely no moving. Who's enforcing that rule? Oh, what the... Did someone move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Oh, hello. Doggo blocks the way. So, only if I move. So, presumably if I just don't do anything, it can't see me. Let's just check that. Yep, easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Are you actually going to attack me? Oh, what, what, what? Oh, oh, oh! What? Oh, no. I shouldn't have moved. Dog was confirming the moving object. No, no, no. Just, just check it. Don't move. As in, literally, don't move your soul. It moved. It didn't not move. Ah. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Um, so I shouldn't pet it, because that's moving. But I shouldn't run, either. Should I? Because running is movement. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna check and not move again to see what happens. And Doggo can't seem to find anything, yeah. I'm just wondering if, my, if I just keep checking it, whether it'll get bored and wander off. No, I think that's a loop. So I'm gonna try petting it to see if that does anything. You pet Doggo. Oh, it seems to, I don't know if that's happy or sad. What? I've been pet. That can't be the past tense of pet. Stay perfectly still and keep petting it. Now, is it yellow? Oh, it's yellow. That means I can spare it. Good. Mercy. Spare. You won. 30 gold. Nice. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm going to need some dog treats for this. Oh, what a good boy you are. Oh, is that a dog treat? Uh, someone's been smoking dog treats. That's the last way you want to have dog treats. And then, oh, hello, hello, Sans. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. 
If you see a blue attack, don't move. Well, I figured that out from the dog sand. You didn't need to tell me that. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red. So imagine a blue stop sign. <laughs> so, okay, that's quite good. That's that's quite when stop thinking about blue stop signs, but it's in, in yellow. Oh, blood. That's quite a good joke. You see, what I think is like, this game has some good jokes, but they really feel like really overtold. Like the comedy is quite funny, but it's quite overdone. Like they re oh, oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Come from the top. Approach from the top here, then I'll be able to read this side. North ice, south ice, west ice. East, Snowdon Town. Ah, excellent. So all I need to do is, well, wait, hang on, how do you even get south and ice? Okay, um, so I want to ultimately go east, but let's go north for me, because therefore that's the way I don't want to go. And then a lesser dog appears. Well, I'm guessing this is the same principle, right? You can, <laughs> oh, just pet it. That's right. You barely lift your hand and the lesser dog gets excited. And then presumably, do I stay still? Oh, oh, no, no, it's not yellow. It's not yellow. Oh, oh, I think it hit me. Uh, less dog is barking excitedly. Is it yellow? Yes, it is yellow. So, spare it. There we are. And no gold. Screw you, I'll just run from you next time. There's a snowman here. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveller, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure, why not? I'm guessing the no shall be the only bit that will actually be clear that I've taken when uh, off this little kind of pixel sprite. You got the snowman piece. No, did I? Okay. How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. Uh, it, it's doing alright. It hasn't made it too far yet, to be honest. Now, to Snowden Town. You're so lazy. You are napping all night. I think that's called... Sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. I wonder if it's an electric puzzle by any bloody chance. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. That's quite good, actually. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you'll probably have is actually rather small, I think. I quite love <laughs> Papyrus could grow on me. He could grow on me. You can go ahead now. I can't help but notice that, um... Uh oh Sans! What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I should just go around the... Hold this, please. And he gives me the orb. I'm apparently stuck with the orb. Okay, try now. Well, call me crazy, but there's... I could clearly walk around the maze. Like, look, look how there's a path around... The... Mm, right, fine. I'll go the way that the game is clearly implied I ought to go. But, like, there is clearly a way I could have just walked around the maze. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However... The next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Sans. How are you? Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? I'm, I'm sure he is, Sans. Now, ooh, hello, who are you? Uh, I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold, is it? Are you sure? Ooh, a customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? Um, yeah. I see, re I see uh, no reason why not. And it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15G, and I've got 86G. So, I'm guessing that's is a healing item, so I should probably just kind of, I don't, know if there's like anything else I can really spend money on to be honest so I'll buy a little bit more sure uh 15g yeah I'll buy I think I'll buy three of these just in case there we go got some that then we got ourselves ooh, big white snowball thing hello I'm guessing this is supposed to be like ooh. there's, there's wait how do these skeletons keep getting oh oh no uh oh wait hang on hang on hang on 
kick it back into the snow. Surely you kick it back into the... Oh, no, I shouldn't have done this. Oh, this is a disaster. Okay. Oh, so it just it just fades over time. Okay, hang on. Okay, so I need to get this down into the... the what? what? That's, that's not how physics should work. That doesn't even make sense unless I'm kicking this, like, uphill or something. And then... N n no, oh, flipping ice. No, no, no. no. Yay! Golf! We're playing... Oh, we're playing golf, apparently. So, green, your concern and care for ball led you to delicious victory. You are awarded 1G. Oh, so that was just a, a little puzzle for an extra one amount of money. Fine. Uh, what has Sans up here got to say? Hello, Sans. And I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? Just 5G. Uh, for you, Sans, anything. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. No. I don't think I've even got... I don't think I've even got 50G. That's still too low. Plus, presumably, fried snow is water, incidentally. Ah, and this is nothing. Uh, what have we got here? So, smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman. White rating can become yellow rating. Wait, hang on. Snow smell dash snowman. White rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, puppy, blue rating. Smells of rolling around. Weird smell, humans. Green rating, but in red, destroy it all costs. Okay, I'm sure that will make sense. I'm guessing there's a monster that's going to smell me in future. And when that happens, that will all make a lot more sense later. And then human! I hope you're ready for... Sans! Where's the puzzle? Uh, it's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Okay, can I just walk past straight past it again? Sans! They didn't even look at it! Oops. Uh, I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that's easy peasy word scramble. And that's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Well, uh, crossword... Oh, I, I, I don't know. We don't have jumble words or whatever that is in this country, really. So I'll say crossword, because crosswords can be bloody hard. Crossword is harder. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> what even was this? Uh, monster Kids Word Search. Hey, kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Could do, but I don't really care to. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Well, all right. Let's head straight on then. Ah, and another thing on the ground. A note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it, you won't realise you aren't progressing. <laughs> oh, dear. You see, sometimes I think, like, when the game's just got, like, little moments to it, it's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Well, can I put the spaghetti into the microwave? Plate of frozen spaghetti. So cold, it's stuck to the table. But the, the microwave is unplugged and I can't. Never mind, you know what? I'm going to completely ignore the spaghetti and save instead. And, ooh. Hello. We've got two big blokes with big axes coming here. What's that smell? Where's that smell? Uh-oh. Oh, flip. What did that thing say? Um, red, red was human, yellow was snowman, I can't remember what the rest of it is. If you're a smell, identify your smell. And then I'm, I'm assuming I can't move right now. And then, hmm, here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate, eliminate you! Okay, so we've got, uh, a doggy. Can we just ignore them? No, these guys don't seem to be movement related. Uh, double doggy. And Dogami and Dogaress are both in white. Can't spare them immediately. Right, let's just check Dogami. Dogami, 6 attack, 4 defense. Husband of Dogaressa knows only what he smells. Take my wife's fleas, don't actually. And then, ooh, 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 ouch. Ow, how the heck do you avoid that? Flip, the dogs are reevaluating your smell. Um, I'm going to try petting him. Because that worked on previous dogs. The dogs are too suspicious of your smell. How do I change my smell? 
Hang on. Roll around was an option. Oh, okay. And then hang out down here. Okay, okay. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Roll around on the ground. You roll around in the dirt and the snow. And then I'll smell differently. You smell like a weird puppy. No, don't. Oh, no. If they do the thing again, I don't know how to avoid it. What are they about to do? Oh, right. Just need to avoid one and then back out again. And then in and we're good. The dogs may want to re-smell you. Yep. Got it. Re-sniff. The dogs sniff you again. This time, after rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. And you smell like a little... Oh, they get. think they're going to attack me anyway, aren't they? Which is a problem because I need to not get hit more than once. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And the dogs think you might actually be a lost puppy. Does that mean they're both... Oh, they're not. Okay, so that means they're not yellow yet. So we've done the reason if we've done the roll around. Does that mean we can now do some petting? Because they think I'm a dog too. You pet dog of me. And wow, pet by another pup. Okay, so I've got to pet her next. But I've just got to avoid damage in the meantime because... Uh, there we go. There we are. So the dogs think you may be a lost puppy. So, And then I need to pet her as well. Yep, yeah, pet. You pet the dog Aressa. And then she's going to be a dog that pets dogs. Oh, uh, mate, I've already pet you. Oh, no. No, I don't know how to avoid this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ouch. The dog's minds have been expanded. There, yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. They're yellow. Mercy, spare. You won 40 gold. Beautiful. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Phew. Okay, that was that's an interesting puzzle. Okay, if the game's got more kind of interesting puzzles like that, I quite like that. But I'm gonna have to use some ice cream at this point just to uh, just to literally get my health back because that was problematic. Ooh, hello. What's this? What? How did you? Avo I haven't avoided your trap. I'm I'm in the process of sorting it out. And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? Um. I kind of left it because it was frozen. I'm going to tell him the truth. Really? Wowie. You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta just so you could share it with me? Fred, not human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> Papyrus, I think, could grow on me. Switch. And that's that sorted. Beautiful. Now, hello. Oh, we actually get to chat to Papyrus uh, openly for once rather than him just kind of speaking to us and then running away. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Alright, bye, Pyre. I question your commitment to capturing humans. I really do. Ooh, is this your next trap? Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You are taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, now the solution is different. Fine. Is he completely given up on capturing me at this point? Feel free to try the puzzle yourself. Okay. Hang on, let's have a look see at this. Um, so all the things need to be turned into... Uh, yeah, all the things need to be turned to... Well, is it? Hang on, let's just check the sign. Check it is actually red. It's red circles again. Turn every X into an O. Fine. Um, so I'm guessing, like, they break if you walk on them twice. This is like a fairly traditional game puzzle in that regard. Work your way round the outside here. And then hit that one. And then just go round to the top. Round the back. And then, oh, but then I can't get back out again. Ah, I can do all of that. Uh, Papyrus, could you, could you give me a hand? Because I've solved it, but now I can't get back out, which is a problem. Oh, wait, wait. I think I've got this. So... Just hit this one as a one-off. Okay. Then loop round here. Up to these guys. To these ones. To round here. To back outside of the puzzle. Yep. And then back to this one. Ha ha ha. Ha ha, Undertale. You think you can defeat me with your puzzles? No, 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 no. Wow, you've solved this and you did it without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well... I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. Might even be too easy for you. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I, I think Papyrus could grow on me. Oh, hello. How do you keep getting ahead of me, Sans? Hey, why don't you ask for help? 
I was right here. Um, just, I, I like solving puzzles by myself. To be honest, this game doesn't have a huge amount of gameplay. When I find some, I kind of cling to it. And then we've got, ooh. Hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. Ooh, new character. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Oh, oh, co randomized color sensitive puzzles. This I like. Yellow tiles are electric. Okay, fine. No, okay, so red is, in red is impassable. Yellow hurts you, but could be passed. Green are the alarm tiles. If you step on them, you'll have to fight a monster. Okay, wait. Oh, wait, green, green is bad? Oh, that's unhelpful. Orange tiles are orange scented. <laughs> they will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas... Okay, so if you go through... If you can go through orange, but then if you go through orange, you can only do that once, because then, then blue is dangerous. But blue's not dangerous if you can just avoid orange. So blue tile is next to a yellow tile. The water will... Okay, so electric... Okay. Electricity yellow into blue. Purple tiles are sli Okay, don't walk on purple because they're like the ice tiles. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Okay, orange or purple into blue is bad. So, wait, what, purple and blue are okay? You just- wait, blue is piranhas. What? Pink tiles, they don't do anything. Step in the more you like. How is- Actually, I think I do. I think I got this. Bring it on. Um, understand the explanation. Uh, yes, I think so. Though I'm a bit confused about blue being both uh, piranhas and safe. And you said purple was also both ice slippery and then safe. So yeah, yeah. randomized. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. All right, let's see what we get here. I'm going to be honest. I'm actually disappointed. I'm <laughs> That's not a bad joke, but I'm actually disappointed. I'd actually quite like to do that puzzle. I'd, I'd actually genuinely want to do that puzzle. It's actually interesting. That's... Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd quite like to do that puzzle. Can I do that puzzle? I really genuinely want to. Can I actually turn the machine? The machine isn't working. I'm actually disappointed. I genuinely want to do that puzzle. That sounds actually kind of interestingly complex. Actually, that's spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps up next year, I'll make something edible. It... Could you fix the machine? I kind of want you to fix the machine. <laughs> and then we've got... Ooh, we've got another dog here. Are you a feisty dog, or are you just the dog staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art? No, oh, poor thing. And then we've got... On the floor inside is a box of pomer raisins. Can I have them? And aware of the dog. Please pet dog, but they misspelled please. Well, okay, I'll pet the dog. Hello. I want to pet the dog. I'd like to pet the dog, but I'm not allowed, apparently. All right, fine. All right, now, who are you? The dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't even know what to create. Probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. I'm not sure what you are, but I think that's a hipster cow. And then we've got... Oh, we've got another puzzle to solve here. Is it just easier to not need to go up when that happens? Yeah, I'm just going to go across here to that. Let's just do... Actually, yeah, this works nicely. We'll just do a big loop. This is fine. Uh, yeah, this works brilliantly, actually. Yeah, just loop inwards. Job done. And that expands outwards. Lovely. On we go. Into a um, mysterious, weird loading zone thing. Uh, ooh, what have we got out here before we go any further? Actually, it does annoy me that you've no idea which way is the right way to go. So you just end up, like, exploring both because you've no way of knowing. What a tiny dog house. And woof, says the sign. Presumably from the dog. And is this the way I actually want to... Ooh. Hello. Are you a dog? Oh, you're adorable. Oh, you oh, actually, you're, you're not a... Uh-oh. 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 This is a problem. It's the greater dog. Okay, is this a dog that needs to be... It's a tiny, tiny dog in a massive suit of armour. Uh, right, let's... Um, so, pet, beckon, play, ignore. Right, let's check on him. Great dog. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Oh, 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 it's barking at me. And the barks hurt. Oh, flipping heck. Right, it's watching me intently. 
Um, so what do I need to do with the greatest dog? I could pet him, play with him. Well, let's try petting him because that seems to work for dogs. The greatest dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air and then... Okay, stay perfectly still. The greatest dog is waiting for your commands. Okay. So if I beckon and then pet, that might work. So you call the greatest dog. And it bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. So now it's close. Oh, but it's barking like crazy. Oh, and then avoid, avoid. Okay, good. Good dodge. And now it's seeking affection. So now I can pet it. Pet the great dog. Great dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. Gets so comfortable it falls asleep. And then it's asleep. It then wakes up. It's so excited. Oh, no. And there we go. Keep on the move. Avoid the barks. The barks are not too bad. So now it's patting the ground with its front paws. So I've petted it, but it feels like they didn't actually do much. So can I can I play with it now that I've petted it? And you make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Great dog brings all the snow in the air and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. And then we've got oh, stay still. There we go. Great dog wants some TLC. Um, so I can pet, play, beckon, or ignore. So just pet it again. Do some more petting. So you pet the dog. It sinks its entire weight into you, which is probably quite high given it's wearing metal armor. Your movement's slow. But you still haven't pet enough. Oh, there needs to be more petting. And avoid the dog barking. Yeah, there we go. So pet capacity is 40%. I'm going to try ignore as it's the only one I haven't done yet. Greater dog inches closer. Oh, and avoid and avoid. So pet capacity is at 40%. So now it's closer. Maybe now I can pet it. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. And then, oh, that was a close one. Barks a bit. Greater dog is content. Right, spare him. You won 40 gold. And, oh, he jumps out of his suit of armor and gives me a lick on the nose. Right, well, I'm guessing that's the way I actually need to go then, because he was a boss fight. So I'm going to go check what was down this south route here. Because I'm genuinely... Ooh, where's this going? Hello? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I don't like that. I don't like the giant spiders. What is going on here? Hello? Why is all this? It's a door. Light up mushrooms. But I can't see a given pattern that obviously opens up the door. I suspect I need to come back here with some sort of... Once I've kind of spoken to someone in the town who tells me how to get in here. So that's fine. We'll ignore that for now. And walk straight past the terrifying spider... Oh, the terrifying... Oh yeah, the terrifying spider beasts are still there. That's fine. Don't worry. We haven't missed the terrifying spider beasts. And on we go over the... Now this is starting to look a bit prettier. They've just, they've got rid of all the, you know, the massive black board. They've actually put some detailed background work in, which is nice. Oh, hello. Ah, Papyrus and Sans. I'm kind of treating these guys as friends at this point. They seem to have completely given up capturing me. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold! The gauntlet of deadly terror. Oh, what the? What? <laughs> I sound like the dog on the front. When I say the word, I will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Is he? I can't, I can't, I can't move. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up, what hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. That, um, doesn't look very activated. Well, uh, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yes, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. <laughs> I think they might start be starting to like me. Phew. And then, what are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. I think he's starting to like me. I don't think he wants to catch me at all. I wonder if Sans is going to say that. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, 
I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Well, blue attacks, they're the ones you just can ignore, right? Yeah, blue attacks. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. Yeah, if, 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 I'm, if I stay perfectly still, then blue things don't hurt me, right? I think that's, that's what's going on. Ah, welcome to Snowden. I found a town and a shop too. Lovely. Okay, let's have a look see in the shop here. So, what have you got to say, random shoppy person? So, uh, care to chat? Yeah, let's say hello. What have we got going on here? I do quite like if you try and sell something, then obviously she doesn't buy, because most shops don't just buy things from you. Shops, you know, sell you stuff. They don't just randomly buy any old thing, which is always a bit of a bugbear in games for me. Like, Skyrim sort of fixed it a bit, because shops only bought stuff that was relevant to them, that they theoretically would be able to easily sell on. So weapon shops only would buy weapons, because they could, you know, then go on to resell them. I quite like that shops don't buy from you, that's quite good. And in here... Loads of the monsters I've already spared, which is cute. That's nice. So Undyne seems to be a big deer around here. She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Okay, Undyne, there's someone to watch out for. And we've got, there's a door back there, but I can't get to it. Well, nothing I can find here in Grilby's. Just a few people I've already kind of spared. So that's cute that obviously I've spared these guys so they're here in town. Whereas if I hadn't, presumably they, they wouldn't be there. They'd be dead. So that's nice. Okay, we found a library here, which I think the shop said had information in it, which is interesting. So we're learning a little bit about the universe here. Monsters are mostly made of magic. Human beings are mostly made of water. Okay, kind of makes sense in a not particularly sensible way. Humans with physical form are far stronger than us. They will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Could just make a birthday card and cut it out to the shape of a bullet, but alright. So because they're made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defences will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, uh, let's end the chapter here. So, oh, so that kind of explains experience in this world, which is as I fight, I get meaner, and that's why I get stronger. It's not that I'm becoming physically stronger, it's that I'm becoming, my soul is becoming crueler, and thus can do more damage to these soul-based beings. That's actually quite a nice explanation. Okay, fine. And fearing the humans no longer, the monsters moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh, cold, damp, swampland, searing heat into which what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. And up here we've discovered the source of all icebergs, which is interesting. There's just an ice machine that a giant muscly horse is tossing into the sea. Fine, go with it. Well, as far as I can see, there's nothing in the town that kind of anyone who's like giving me a quest or anything. So I just need to head out of town through the far end and keep going towards capital, I guess. One thing I did interestingly notice, like a few people were vaguely mentioning how... You know, it's actually really terrible being underground and being a monster's awful, but they all just kind of don't talk about it because it would be depressing if they did. So there's a bit of a dark story underneath it. Ooh. A very symmetrical fog has just rolled in. A very symmetrical fog. And who am I going to meet coming out of the symmetrical fog? Hello. Oh, is that Papyrus? Hello, Papyrus. Looks like Papyrus. Yep. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. Oh, Papyrus, um, I think I'm a small child. This is weird. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. <laughs> Alright, good joke. Well done. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. Don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill our lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. I'm guessing. Ah! 
we're actually having to take on Papyrus. So, how are we going to deal with Papyrus? Uh, so, let's have a look see at him. Obviously, we can't spare him straight away. So, we need to check on him. We might be able to flirt him. We might be able to insult him. I'm guessing, like, generally positive emotions are better than negative in this game. So, I'm guessing it's flirt rather than insult. But let's have a look see at him. So, 8 attack, 2 defense. He likes to say, nyeh he 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 doesn't. <laughs> he does indeed. Okay, so we've got those trees swing by and nothing bad happens. So, Pyrus is trying hard to play it cool. His attack was a bit feeble there. Well, let's try flirting with him. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I, yes, I can. I have zero redeeming qualities. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. And then... He really is not very good at capturing. I don't think he wants to, really. Uh, but Pyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Uh, continue continue flirting. Oh, no. Let's date later after I capture you. Oh, wait. Hang on. Did I... I didn't even, I didn't even take note of the colour. Is the colour now yellow? No, it's not yellow. Let's see if this is like... Um, if this is like Toriel. Where if I try... Oh, wait. Hang on. That was something different. Hang on. That was something different. But Pyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. Continue flirting on an ongoing basis because like we just got a different bit of you flirt but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Oh, okay. So basically I don't, I can't do any more acting. The game is implying there. So if I can't act anymore, obviously I'm not fighting. Can I just start trying to spare him? So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fable blue attack. Yep. Cam, I can definitely handle it by simply staying perfectly still. Though I like how you theoretically could actually avoid it. It would be actually be quite easy to do so. Oh, what the? What? Why is my heart blue? You're blue now. What What does that mean? You, you've made my soul blue? I don't know what that's a metaphor for, but I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. <laughs> what? You're, you're, you're blue now. What? What does that mean? Does that mean I now, if he does his blue attack at me, I have to be constantly moving or something? I'm not sure. I, I, I'm confused. I'm confused because I'm blue. I'm going to flirt with you despite being blue. Paris is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later. Okay, and... Oh, and up. Up. And up. There we go. Alright, let's just keep trying to spare him. Let's just keep trying to spare him. Uh, what I'm not thinking about that date thing. And up. 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 Uh, oh no. Um, up. And up. And up. And there we go. Lovely. Uh, Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. And then... Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 Ouch. Uh, Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Continue trying to spare. He is coming. He's saying new things. I think I just need to endure this. And then. Oh. Okay. Oh, I was still damaged from. Oh. Oh, blimey hell. Uh, Paris is preparing a bone attack. I don't even know what that means. But I need to keep eating cinnamon buns. Up and above. And then up and above. Yep. And then up and above. Ouch. Got caught there. Paris whispers. here. Continue sparing. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Okay, and, and up, and then up, and then up. Yeah, we are. That was good. Pyrus whispers near here, here. Am I stuck in a loop here? Right, continue trying to spare. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Uh, no, you should you should just go on a date with me because clearly that's a good idea. And then, and then through, and then through, and then through, and then... Oh, flipping heck. Oh, that was a series of good dodging. Now he's cackling. Continue trying to spare. Someone like you is... That's right. Maybe you should stop trying to kill me then, you maniac. And then all oh, down. Oh, oh, flipping heck. Um, can, just, just... And dating might be kind of hard. Look, just... Oh, no, I don't like the blue ones. Can I just stay still for them or something? Ouch. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. Oh, and now essentially... Oh, no. Or as Sans calls it. Oh, garage. 
you're in the doghouse now. Did I, is that game over, or did I have to get down to one hit point? Oh. Well, I am allowed to continue at least. So, whatever happened there... Maybe if I'd been able to win that fight, like, he'd have just gone on a date with me and been impressed, but I've been beaten by him. But I don't know if, like, that is a meant-to-lose fight, so I'm not going to go back and redo it, because I don't actually know. A note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. And I've been able to walk straight out, because, yes, just like last time, the gate was just built not well to hold me. So, oops. Okay, so we're back to Papyrus again. But this time, let's, okay, let's kick this off. Let's kick this off with some flirt. Oh, he's too busy fighting to flirt back. Oh, have we, have we skipped straight to the later bit here? Okay, yeah, up. A bit better at this bit this time. Do I just need to endure against him or something? Okay, I think we've got to the end of the fight. Behold my special attack, he says. What, what the heck? A dog appears to be gnawing on his special attack. That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. What are you doing? <laughs> I wonder, is that the same dog I saved earlier? Because I saved the dog. The dog is munching on his special attack. That's a dog. Come back here with my special attack. Oh, well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Oh, no. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Okay, it, it's not. I thought that was the end of the fight. Here's an absolutely normal attack. And, oh, there's more flipping... Heck! Go! Oh, what the... Uh, what? Oh, I've got so no health. I've got zero health. What the... What? How... Oh, flip. Now, I'm not sure exactly how I was supposed to avoid that final massive attack there. That's, uh, yeah, that was kind of annoying. Now, the slightly frustrating thing is, um, items aren't restored to you when this fight's over. So, I've kind of spent all my money on cinnamon buns I tried to use up. So, I've kind of spent all my money, but now I don't have any healing items. So, now I've got to do the whole thing without being able to, to heal. So, that's annoying. Hopefully, I skip at least a bit into the fight. I wonder what I should... Oh, no. Come on, I have to do the whole thing again. Oh, my goodness. He's actually got bored of fighting Papyrus. No, I don't want to fight Papyrus. Seriously, I don't. Guess I'll accept my failure. That That's fine. <laughs> I'm sure there is like some sort of consequence in the plot for how I could theoretically have like, if I could have just kind of survived against him long enough, then he would have like chosen to spare me and would have gone on the date or whatever. But like, it's a really annoying fight because if you lose it, then you have to do the whole thing again. And it's a fight that takes like, I don't know, four or five minutes in total. That's... That's not good design. The, like, and the fact that your consumables do get used up. You don't get reset to a start point with your consumables back. You then have to do the whole thing, but without the consumables you spent money on, which is just an annoying waste of money. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What did you say? Let's be friends. Look, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles, then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Well, I've got a feeble soul. My soul's got like 20 hit points. It's awful. Like you. Oh, apparently my soul's fine. Whatever. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. And us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters, he is. I'm guessing he's Asgore, isn't he? He's a big fuzzy pushover. Oh, he's not Asgore then. Fine, whatever. Everyone loves that guy. I am certain that if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer? Alright, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah. It, he's, he, he just ran... I'm not sure if he can fly, but okay, possibly he can. 
So this is way is the way forward. But you know what? Let's finish up this episode by going back and having a quick chat with Papyrus. We might be able to quickly go on that date with him. And oh, here he is outside his house. Hello. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. And where are we going? Are we going to the library? I like libraries. Oh, if someone off if someone wants to take me on a date to a library, that'd be magnificent. Wait, he are we just going for a walk? Wait. My house! Yes, okay. I <laughs> Did he just get lost? Oh, we get to see his house. And then interestingly that one one of the rooms does seem to be on fire. I'm just saying that room up there, on fire. You might want to look into that. So that's Papyrus's room with all the stop signs and general things to not go ahead on it. If you're finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. And oh, he's got he's got another he's got another door at the back of his. Oh, he's got a big car. It's a single bed though. I'm not sure you've prepared for this date adequately, Papyrus. That does appear to be a single bed. Oh, but he's got lots of models. What's he got? Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Santa, I'm guessing? Yeah, that's right. Santa, yay. And then, ah, skull and crossbones. Lovely flag, yep. And a computer, interesting. The internet, I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower account. <laughs> good joke. All right, good joke. Starting on minus two, lovely. All right, Papyrus, what have you got to say for yourself? So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yes, begin the date. Commence dating. Okay, dating starts. Oh, what? What? No! Date? What? Why are we fighting? Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> Uh, I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating hub. I'm, I'm using a controller. I'm, I'm using a controller. That That's Monday. Oh, no. <laughs> um, it was on start, just so you know. I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Human! I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes, yes, that's fine. Wow, I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show that you care. Uh, wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very be- Yes, yes, I- I don't- Uh-oh. Oh, uh, I think I've- I think I've broke Papyrus. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No, your dating power- Oh. Uh, the- Oh. Uh, okay. I don't know if that's a successful date or not. Nyeh. Nyeh. Don't think you've bested me yet. Are you the great Papyrus? I've never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes under my regular clothes, just in case someone happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Oh, dear. What do you think of my secret style? I honestly hate it, but I'm going to tell him I, I love it, because I want this date to go well. No! A genuine compliment. It wasn't genuine. It was terrible. Um, but let's just keep this date power going up. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. Oh, no. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Uh, okay. My hat. My hat. My hat. Well then, you found the... What? Has he, got, has he got a little man wearing a mask inside his head? I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Yeah, open it. What, what's going on? You, oh, uh-oh. Spaghetti. I didn't even mean to click that. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But, but oh so wrong. 
this ain't any plain old pasta. I, I sorry, I, I, I don't even realize when I clicked there. I just was clicking through the dialogue and the option came up too quickly. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken casket and cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I want to eat it. I'm going to eat that. I'm going to eat the spaghetti. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. No, the taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. <laughs> Maybe even more than I do. Oh, the date power. The date power is going. Oh, yes. <laughs> date power and right in the face. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here? Is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> I, I don't know if that date could have gone... No, <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> All right, that there was the date with Papa. I wonder if that door's now. I, I know. The, I want to check the door that's on fire. Sans, you know the door's still locked. Uh, that it's just Sans' room is just on fire. Fine. All right. All right. That is more than enough for now. I would say let's crack on a little bit further with this. Like. The script has some really adorable moments and some lovely ideas and some funny jokes, but to me, like, some of the humour feels a bit overtold. The jokes are laboured, just a little bit too much. But I will admit, it's cute, and when the puzzles do come up, I like them. And I admire the game for coming up with alternate solutions, and you're never quite sure whether what you've done, you could have done differently or not. That's quite nice. So, yes, I think I'll do a little bit more of this shit. I'll at least kind of crack on a little bit further. And we shall see where this goes next. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been a little bit more of Undertale. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Don't mind me. I've been practicing my stabbing motion. It's fine. Oh, you shouldn't have got in the way. You must die. You showed up to a party and you brought a guitar. I despise you. There's two people who are just having sex in this corridor. They're going to go down. Stab, stab. There we are, like Romeo and Juliet, but sped up slightly. It's the it's kind of the footnotes version.